Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to start by saying a huge thank you to each and every one of you for being here. Your support truly means the world to us and we wouldn't do this without you. Whether you've been here from the beginning or you're new to the channel, we're so grateful to have you as part of this community. Let's dive in. How will the Archific Cold Wallet work technically? And what makes it unique? I start by asking, do you think it will be risky for your asset if you share the private key of your Cold Wallet on Twitter? With any available Cold Wallet, it will mean losing your funds. But the Archific Cold Wallet changes the game. Here, how it works. A biometric private key without the blockchain's proof of work can't validate a transaction. Each call wallet has a crypto processor with a public key registered on the blockchain. So, with a signature of a genuine device, the private key is useless and it won't meet the blockchain proof of work requirements. No, I'm not suggesting you share your private key. But if that ever happens, your assets will be still be secure. We'll follow the, all the Telegram discussion closely. And you can trust that we will never expose you to risk with Arctic technology. If there is even the slightest chance of a fingerprint collision or the risk of fake fingerprint, we will by default require you to pair a pin with your fingerprint or link it to your device secure element. What is unique is that, for the first time, you can use who you are to authenticate yourself in the most secure way possible. Your body, so you, become your secure element. When can we expect the official launch of Arkethic's biometric cold wallet? We're aiming for the end of 2025 or early 2026. The team is working closely with our manufacturing partners and we will share the exact release date once confirmed. Will the new cold wallet support integration with existing LP locks or will we need to wait until current locks expire? Yes, you will be able to import existing marketing wallets including any that hold LP-locked assets, directly into the cold wallet. Why is the initial version of the wallet using fingerprint recognition instead of vein recognition? Does this change affect security or the project's vision? The real breakthrough with our wallet is the elimination of seed traces through on the fly private key creation using biometrics. Fingerprint recognition does the job perfectly allowing us to achieve seedless access securely and efficiently. Finger veins technology, while promising, had complexity and potential delays. So by focusing on fingerprint technology initially, we were able to bring this revolutionary product to market sooner. And with the combination of fingerprint and pin, we're confident in delivering top-level security without sacrificing timeline or affordability. How can UCO holders participate in project governance? And will voting rights be implemented through a DAO soon? Yes, we're working to establish the DAO structure with our famous Ripco chain. Thanks to the use of the smart contracts, our collaborate should be able to verify that multiple fingerprints belong to the same person, creating a unique proof of humanity layer for the DAO. Why we're aiming to have the DAO ready before the wallet launches, our ultimate goal for it is a secure, trustable voting system powered by a biometric verification. How does the wallet to token burn mechanism work? And how does it impact UCO's long-term value? I'm excited to share that we're aiming for a retail price of $200 for our cold wallet. The technology we're offering is cutting head. And even though it costs more to produce than some competitors, we believe this price point will help us enter the market successfully. Know about the burn mechanism. 15% of our revenue from each wallet sale will be used to buy and burn new co tokens. So, with $200 solid price, that's $30 per wallet. Here's how it works every time we sell a wallet, a script automatically uses $30 from the sale to buy UCO from the market and send those tokens to a burn wallet, permanently removing them from circulation. This creates ongoing buying pressure for UCO, which will ensure a price growth over time. Does our CAFIC have a projected market cap target for the next market cycle? Let's do a fun exercise. 
This isn't a financial advice, but shows how powerful our buy and burn model can be. If we sell 100,000 wallets at launch, that will trigger $3 million buy and burn on a swap. Where you see a trade around 1.6 cents with a 650 key in liquidity right now. The simulation suggests potential 12,000 percent price increase with UCO hitting 1.8 in dollars. This illustrates the impact of our model. Also, real world factors like higher liquidity will moderate this growth. What are the latest developments regarding Q4 2024's goal to open the ecosystem to third party developers? Is this timeline still on track? We have shifted our focus to make sure the Cold Wallet launches successfully by late 2025 or early 2026. While we work on finalizing the wallet, including important blockchain upgrades and software development, we're also getting ready to open our ecosystem to third-party developers. Once we will have a clear release date, we will share that info. So developers can start using our blockchain unique feature, like building biometrics, and access to an engaged user base, perfect for secure identity-focused projects. When will we see the Arkethic mainnet connected to a major centralized exchange? And are there other exchange plans in the near future? Connecting our Arkethic mainnet to big centralized exchanges is important. But right now, our focus is on launching the cold white and growing our ecosystem. The fees for integration are high. And we believe we will gain more by waiting until our call wallet is ready. Once that's done, we will be better prepared to invest in expanding to more exchanges and get the most value for our community. Will there be an updated tokenomics release schedule to reflect recent changes? Yes, we're planning to update our tokenomics schedule before the call wallet is released. We want to do this carefully because many parts of our project are connected to the wallet and need to be thought together. Instead of giving small updates here and there, we're working on one complete update that covers everything. Our aim is to make sure these changes are clear, beneficial to our work community, and align with our long-term plans. Can you provide details about the rumored partnership with a search engine? Is it still in the planning stages? We've previously mentioned that we can't reveal the name of this partner just yet, and that is the case. However, I can share that we're on track to make the announcement before the end of the year. Are there any long-term partnerships with influencers or crypto channels to promote Arkithic? Should we expect increased activity on social media platforms like X in 2025? Yes, we're currently negotiating with influencers and channels. Focusing initially on the cold wallet and its revolutionary impact, our goal for 2025 is to build a larger, more engaged community ahead of the wallet launch. So yes, expect to see increased social media activity as we approach the release. How will Arkethic ensure consistent communication and updates for the community moving forward? We're committed to keeping the community well informed and engaged. Our plan includes monthly Q&A video session to address your question and share your updates, making sure everyone stays connected. We will also announce any major milestones as they happen so no one misses a thing. Plus, we're working on ways for the dev to provide regular insight and update directly. Details on that are coming soon. What strategies are in place to increase the transaction volume on Arkethic's network? Considering that the cold wallet supports long-term storage, how will Arkethic drive transactions to support UCO's value? Our buy and burn mechanism tied to the cold wallet will be a significant driver for UCO's price. Over time, as cold wallet users gain access to DApps requiring biometric authentication, transaction volume will raise naturally, supporting UCO's value further. With the goal of reaching 10,000 TPS by Q4 2024, will community members have opportunities to participate as nodes? What justifies the increase in nodes at this stage? Our focus is on developing the blockchain ecosystem after the color wallet launch and once the user base is active. Currently, setting up nodes require high technical expertise and we're working on making them easier to install. Prioritization is key, but we promise to keep you updated and involve the community as soon as we make progress on this front.
How does the Arcathic blockchain go beyond simple crypto storage to support larger ecosystem applications? How our code wallet serves as an entry point to a much broader vision. Beyond just storing crypto, it brings proof of humanity to life. This means the wallet could verify a person's identity by ensuring that at least six unique fingerprints come from the same individual. While this concept is still theoretical, it opens up incredible possibilities. Imagine DAOs with verified members, ensuring that only real humans, no bots or duplicates, can participate. Eventually, our device could secure all kinds of digital assets, making Arcating's blockchain adaptable, valuable for various sectors. How does Arcathic aim to transform the future of digital security and identity management with its technology? Our vision at Arcathic is to eliminate the needs of passwords, making digital security both seamless and robust. Imagine a world where accessing everything from your crypto assets to your digital identity is as simple as and secure as using your fingerprint. The launch of our biometric cold wallet marks a crucial first step towards this vision, offering secure seedless storage that redefines that how cold wallet can be. Thank you for sharing your insights with us today. As we conclude, we'd like to leave our audience with a final thought. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? To everyone who stayed with us till the end, thank you. As a token of our appreciation, I have an excited update to share. On November 25th, Hacketic will be featured on Mariana Full Runtable, where we will introduce the project and reveal some exclusive announcements. For those who don't know, Mariana Full is one of the biggest voice in crypto, with 1.7 million followers on Twitter and a top ranking channel creator. Stay tuned for more details. Thank you all for your continued trust and support.